Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 6. So if you thought 2020 couldn't get any worse, well, mid-April decided to whip out the old uh, the old default dance on us as we found out yesterday from when this video will go up that uh, Comic-Con or San Diego Comic-Con, if we're going to be formal, had uh, or has been cancelled for 2020, aka this year, and it won't be uh, rescheduled for later in the year. It's just not happening this year at all, and it will start again in 2021, around the normal time it would normally be held. Now, of course, Comic-Con is where a plethora, or a lot, of trailers and news would come out, uh, but even if it was on, like, nothing would really be there except a trailer for some movies, like a trailer for Season 7 of The Flash, for example, and all the other new seasons of, D of the DC TV shows wouldn't have, you know, aired there, wouldn't have happened, as the new seasons wouldn't have started filming, and won't start filming until around late August to September, as they still have to wrap the last few episodes of this season, before they start the new seasons. Now, I have been speaking to someone in the know in regards to the release of trailers for WB, and like, what they're looking to do, saying that Comic-Con is gone, and I will relay that information in a video, maybe tomorrow, or the day after, or it could be later in the week, it just depends when they get back to me with exactly how they think they will handle it. So I guess just keep your eyes out for that video and we'll go over all that information. But in this video, we are going to go over a couple of things, including the potential return of Jesse Quick, some new information for episode 17 of The Flash, not the episode airing in a few days, but the episode after that, and uh, maybe some other stuff, maybe, not too sure. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know your various opinions on what we go over in this video. I'm curious to see what you guys have in regards to theories, thoughts, opinions, all of that. So be sure to leave them in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are going to enjoy the video and you're excited for what we go over, why not drop a like in the video to show your support and excitement for what's to come. But um, yeah, to start off the video, we will be going over the synopsis for episode 17 of this season of The Flash, that episode otherwise being entitled Liberation. After recent events, Barry takes a closer look at his life with Iris. Eva makes a bold move. So the first thing I'm sure you're all thinking to yourself is like, wait, hold on, Paige, mate, did you just forget to read like the other half of that synopsis or did you accidentally delete it while editing the video? And no, the synopsis is just that short. I don't even think it's 15 words. It's really, really short. It is pretty much the length of like a finale synopsis, which are notoriously short due to like not wanting to, you know, give too much away. And I think that is pretty much what the synopsis is doing for episode 17 not trying to give too much away. Now, sometimes they do update a synopsis for certain episodes after the previous episode airs, which could happen with this one. So once we get episode 16, this new plot could be added to the synopsis about Dark Side going to the dance club. I don't know, something like that. But I don't know if they would actually bother with it, but I guess that is for us to wait and find out. But by that point, we would have a trailer for this episode. So would, so would we really care by then about more added stuff to the synopsis? Probably not. Anyway, let's go over what we can from it and what it could mean for the events in episode 17. So the first part of the synopsis or description reads, after recent events, Barry takes a closer look at his life with Iris. Now, usually when a synopsis says after recent events, that pretty much means due to what went down in the, in the last episode. Now, of course, we don't know the finer details in regards to what happens in the previous episode leading into episode 17. However, we did get the primary images for episode 16 get dropped online earlier in the week, like maybe like four days, four or five days ago or something, which do show Barry and Iris in conversation. And in some of them, it does look like Barry is concerned or potentially even angry. Ooh, angry Barry. So I think many are thinking, and I am in that pool or that group, uh, that Barry might find out or at least become overly suspicious that the Iris he's, he's been dealing with, you know, for the majority of time after Crisis, what, episode 11 onwards, isn't normal Iris. There is also a promo image of Joe and Barry that could suggest Joe gives Barry the hint or at least, you know, agrees with Barry that something isn't right with Iris. But, um, yeah, we only got a couple of days until episode 16 comes out, so I'm sure we'll find out then. Now, I do feel that this episode could be the big reveal, or as the cooler kids are saying nowadays, diss track on what has been going on within the mirror world since Crisis and for everyone involved. Obviously, that being Iris, Camilla, and Eva. Whether we deal with the mirror versions mainly in this episode or a mix of both will be interesting to find out. Eric Wallace, the showrunner for The Flash, did talk about the fallout from what is going on with Iris in the mirror world will lead to some devastating consequences for Team Flash, which could happen in this episode. The fact that the synopsis is really short could suggest those consequences are revealed or play out in this episode, or maybe they even, you know, play out in the previous episode and we deal with the fallout of those consequences playing out in this episode. Like, who knows? But I am interested to see like how they play out regardless of what they are specifically because you know Eric Walls has been you know saying that's not been gonna be, be like you know the main thing for the season but it's definitely gonna push 
the story heading into the last like five or six episodes. And of course, that final little part of the synopsis does read, Eva makes a bold move. Now, the episode title is called Liberation. And as I have said, I think way too many times when bringing up this episode, liberation pretty much means freedom or to be freed. And I would say Eva's bold move is something about her getting out or gaining freedom from the mirror world. Now, we know what she is up to in regards to, you know, getting her toys, gadgets, weaponry, whatever you want to call it, back from various spots around Central City, and that black hole led by her husband or ex-husband, whatever it is, that of course being Joseph Carver, is also after them. We've seen him, you know, sending the various meta mercenaries, I guess you could say, that he has at his disposal after them. Now, I do think it would be naive to not think that there is a chance that maybe Eva is actually working with Joseph, or will at least, you know, team back up with him in the episodes to come. But we will have a focus on Joseph Carver from a couple of angles in this week's episode in a couple of days. So we could learn more in regards to whether there is a chance at Eva actually being a part of Black Hole, or if it is solely Carver's thing and Eva has and will have nothing to do with it, at least when Joseph Carver is a part of it. So maybe if Joseph Carver gets his head chopped off by Billy Bob, whoever it might be, Eva's like, well, I'm his wife. I, I guess I'm I, I'm the heir to everything. Looks like I'm the owner of Black Hole and she gains full control. Who knows what happens there? Um, but I guess we'll maybe get a hint at it this week and then maybe in episode 17 it fully plays out. I know, I have to wait and see. I guess some of the big questions with this is whether Eva leaves a trail of uh, destruction, I guess you could say, as she leaves the mirror world. I know we were talking about it, I think maybe like a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago about the potential or the possibility that Camilla could die due to this. Now, the actress who plays Camilla says that she was, I think, filming 20 or 21, or she was filming 20 or had filmed 20 and would be in episode 21. So maybe that whole theory goes out the window, unless she's just playing her mirror version and the real version has died. But uh, the actress who plays Camilla hasn't been upgraded to a series regular, like the other recurring characters from this season, like Allegra and Chester P. Runk. So they've been upgraded to series regulars. And... There have been less episodes than Camilla for the most part, but Camilla's still just a recurring character. So I don't know, I have to wait and see if they eventually upgrade her. Maybe they're waiting for the storyline to play it a bit more before they confirm that she's going to be there next season, but I don't know. But if it has nothing to do with Camilla and she just stays alive, I am interested to see what the devastating consequences for Team Flash could be from Eva getting out in this Mirror World saga sort of, you know, coming to an end, if that makes sense, even though it's still going to play out. I'd have to assume it's something to do with Iris, if that's the case. If it has nothing to do with the death, it's something to do with Iris, and then I guess it affects Barry, which then affects Team Flash. I don't know, hopefully these next couple of episodes make it clear, instead of just doing like a half ass job, because I don't think they have been doing a half ass job, but if it doesn't play out well, then it could be a bit frustrating, because I've sort of been hyping it up through interviews. Now that's it to really go over in regards to that synopsis, but some big news that came out, I think over the past, I want to say maybe two or three days, is that Violet Bean, who of course plays, uh, or has played Jesse Quick in the past, her show of God Friended Me um, had actually been cancelled. So it's been, it's been cancelled, it won't be airing past season two, and I think they might have finished all their episodes, I'm not too sure. Or they might not even go back to them. If it's been cancelled, would they even go back to finish the last couple of episodes? Probably not. Now, God Friended Me did hold her back from appearing in potential episodes last season. I don't know if they actually had any, had any plans to bring her into episodes this season, Um Maybe, but I don't think they did. But from last season, I'm pretty sure it held her back from coming back for some episodes. And I think there was only maybe like two where Jesse would have fit in or had the idea to have Jesse in there. So with her show being cancelled, it definitely opens up the door where, if, you know, the people at The Flash are like, yo, want to come be on an episode? She can't be like, well, I'm on this show. She's not employed at the moment. So there's the high chance that she'd be back on the show. And most people know her as Jesse Quick. Not many people would know her as, I think, I think her name's Kara on that God friend of me show, more people would know her as Jesse Quick rather than that character on that show. But obviously the big question is, well, Paige, you aren't uh, Jesse and Harry dead. Well, yeah, we're led to believe that through the characters of Earth Prime, but they could be alive, but it's also important to remember the, the multiverse is out there now, and there could be another version of Jesse that could easily show up. Probably not the one we knew before, because, well, they died, and I could see them sticking with that version being dead. But another version from, I don't know, Earth 41, could they easily show up, and it's a different version, different suit, Various things like that could even be a villain. Could be a bit of an edgy Jesse Quick is a bit evil, a bit of an anti-hero, something like that. 
But obviously, if she does come back into the, sh- into the show, I don't think it's going to be, oh, she's a main character, because I think it's really hard to balance that. But I think if we got an episode where maybe Wally West came back next season, why wouldn't you bring back Jesse Quick as well? And I know it's going to be a different version, but you could do some cool stuff there if you wanted to, especially if they do like a cool multiverse speedster episode next season sometime, which I think, why not? You have this brand new multiverse that you set up in Crisis, want to have some fun with it, and introduce some really like deep cuts from the comics, or just some cool characters that you can just sort of make up if you want to to be completely honest if they really want to go about that uh, go about it in that way so i think they have free reign get jesse quick back get wally accelerated man actually say some lines this time around but yeah violet bean's no longer on that show it was definitely a roadblock if not just a complete wall in regards to her actually guest starring on the flash so the fact that it's not there it's, it's sad that the show's ended for her but obviously it's cool that we could get jesse quick back uh sometime soon but i'm um, yeah guys thanks for watching uh hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it show your support let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions on what you want over what are you looking forward to the most in episode 17 does the jesse quick news get you excited um i don't i wouldn't obviously don't expect it back this season but what sort of storyline would you like her to play into next season or like a specific episode let me know in the comment section down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and i'll catch you guys later goodbye <laughs>